It is nine after seven now. Up to 50,000 teachers across the country will walk off the job next week over a pay and disputes, uh, sorry, a pay and conditions dispute with the government. It comes after members of two teachers unions voted to strike against the lack of progress on collective agreement negotiations. Primary teacher Mayana McCurdy is with us this morning, along with PPTA acting president and high school principal Chris Abercrombie. Good morning. Thank you for being with us. Um, Morena. Mayana, can, Morning. I, can I start with you? Um, we're getting a lot of feedback from parents, as I'm sure you can imagine, who are saying, oh, another day, I can't, I can't handle this, my kids can't handle this. <laughs> can you just tell me, like, for your <clears throat> the average day for you as a teacher, um, how full is your day? What, what, what sort of hours are you doing? What, what is the pressure you're under? It's full. That's full. I'm a mother as well, so let me just say that I completely understand how parents are feeling. Another day off school, I have a year three child myself, so I understand that. Um, my days are incredibly full. Uh, the day starts before school, planning and prepping to get ready for the kids to arrive. The kids don't arrive at nine o'clock. They arrive much earlier than that, and we're always there with a smile on our faces to greet them. We have duties at lunchtime. Um, on Wednesday, I had two duties. I didn't actually get a break. And then we had a meeting after school as well. I didn't get to eat until five o'clock. So that's, that's pretty much what a day is like for a teacher. And it's like that day in, day out for the whole term, uh, or, or, but essentially? A lot of the time. Um, we have planning time. We need to plan. We need to enter data. We need to mark assessments. Our day doesn't finish at three. How many days do you get, say, per per month planning time, would you say? Um, per month, we get, in the primary school sector, we get two days of release time. So that's, I think it works out to be five hours or ten hours per term we get. Right. And that's our planning time, our assessment time. That's all the time that we have to spend that one-on-one -on -one time with the children, trying to keep up right. with their with their learning needs. So that's about once a fortnight. You get it. You sort of get a, a release day. And that, no, 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 that's two days every ten weeks. Oh right, okay. So per term. Mm. All right. And so you, according to the document, this is for the um, primary um, teachers like yourself. Um, it says mm -hmm. that ideally there would be one day per week release time. Is, would that help? One day per week would put us on par with secondary schools. How that one day per week looks could take a variety of forms. That could be one hour per day. It could be one day per week. What we're asking, though, is for more time, more time to do our jobs properly and to do justice to those children that we love and that we teach. Mayana, when it comes to pay, Mm -hmm. The issue is at keeping pace with inflation. What, in talking to your colleagues, where, is, where, where are they drawing the line? Is it, is it that you want at least, um, as a bare minimum, you know, the 7.3% inflation um, um, into the year to December? What, what's the sort of feeling there? Well, actually, pay isn't coming into the conversations. Its conditions are coming into the conversations. We want more support for our children the needs of our children coming in, especially after COVID, is so high that pay is actually at the bottom of, bottom of the want list, basically. We need support. Teachers are crying out for support. Meaning more teachers. Uh, let's speak to Chris, who's here with us as well. Uh, Mayana, thank you for being with us. Primary teacher Mayana McCurdy, PPTA Acting President and High School Principal Chris Abercrombie is here too. Chris, welcome to the show. Um, you're here representing the, the secondary side of things. What is the top of your list? Um, ju just to clarify, start off, I'm only a teacher. I'm not a, not a principal. Oh, sorry. So. That's all right. We've elevated. Um, well, there's a pay rise for you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what, what's the top for us is that that we want a, a healthy education sector. You know, we want to ensure that every student can have a qualified teacher in front of them. And, and at the moment, it's not looking like that. How many? So how many kids are, are not having a qualified teacher in front of them? Well, I know that, for instance, in, in some areas, three quarters, like Auckland, for instance, at the um, start of this year, three quarters of the schools, secondary schools, did not have, um, did not meet their full criteria for teaching, teaching staff. So who's teaching the kids then? 
Uh, so there's there's an element of relievers, there's um, short term uh, uh, short term positions, etc. But when I say qualified, that might not say it's a physics class. It might not be a physics teacher. Right. So it's it's hardly ideal. You're saying we need more teachers. But obviously the government says there's a global shortage on all sorts of industries at the moment, so the chances of us fixing this problem overnight are, are very slim. In the meantime, is pay up there for you and, and what are your um, members wanting? Well, it's, it's pay and conditions. It's, they go hand in hand. So we want to create uh, a sector where it's, it's attractive for new graduates to join, there's thousands of ex-teachers in the country, so we want them to return to their profession they love. Teaching's a fantastic job. I love it. And and I know that my ex-colleagues love it as well, but they want to be able to um, pay their bills. They want to be able to fill their car with petrol. So by having an attractive conditions and pay, they'll be able to do that. All right. Um, any chance that this strike can be avoided? I noticed that the ministry has said that they'll, they're, they're willing to talk to you. They're happy to talk to you before the strike, ahead of the strike. We're always happy to talk to the ministry, but this is firmly in the government's uh, court, that the government is the one that can stop this. They can stop this today if they chose to, but they're not. How much, do you know how much it's going to cost? The, all, all of the demands, your bottom line demands from the PPTA, how much is it worth in terms of millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars? Do you know? Uh, I, I don't have the information off the top of my head, um, unfortunately. It's something we do know. I just don't have it with me. But what I do know is that our claim is about creating a profession that is attractive for new graduates and attractive to return new teachers and to keep the teachers we currently have. That is what we need to do to ensure that every student in the country has a qualified teacher in front of them. And at the moment, that is not guaranteed. Chris, Melissa here. What do you say to parents who say, support your strike, but strike outside of the hours that students are at school? Well, I, I say we are striking for the students. I've got a young family. I want my children to be able to have a, a history teacher, a PE teacher, uh, a maths teacher. That, at the moment, and is not guaranteed. So that's why we're striking. Is it possible to make your point outside of the hours that they are at school, though, in the same way that students moved their... I know it's a protest versus a strike, but moved their action outside of school hours on climate change? Well, my, my answer to that would, 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 would you be asking, talking to me if, um, if we were, had a protest at four o'clock? Well, we spoke to students when they had a protest at three o'clock. Well, I mean, it's, we always are taking actions. There's, a lot, there's lots of actions we do. This is just one of the, the things that we add. All right. Thanks very much for your time. Uh, that is primary teacher Mayana McCurdy, along with PPTA acting president and teacher Chris Abercrombie with us this morning, 17 minutes after seven. Tell you what I'm slightly annoyed by. First of all, here's a statement from the Ministry of Education. This is from Mark Williamson, Senior Manager, Employment Relations and Pay Equity. We believe disruption to our learners, their families and communities should be avoided if possible. We have been working through PPTA's priorities with them over recent months and made some progress. However, there are still some outstanding issues. We're seeking to meet the union again so that we can make the offer before the strike action. As primary and kindergarten teachers have voted to strike, we have sought to resume bargaining urgently with the NZEI.